Hi all, welcome to the series of interview questions. So uh, today we'll be seeing yet another important question: Is JavaScript single-threaded or multi-threaded? So uh, if you take JavaScript, okay, be very clear with the answer. It is single-threaded. Okay, that is the core design of it. It has only a single thread, and multi-threading is not possible in JavaScript. I say single threaded. I mean the JavaScript execution is single threaded. The JavaScript execution has only a single thread, so it means it has only a single call stack. So whatever gets executed comes to this call stack and gets executed. Okay. <clears throat> and what happens if you are going to do any complex activity in the thread, like? Uh, uh trying to print for 1000 10000 elements what will happen so it means you will be blocking the thread so uh, all the subsequent things will not happen right you will be block the blocking the thread and all the subsequent things will not happen so in javascript and it is a very much needed for the developer to not block the thread in any way they have to make it as all the complex activity as as asynchronous that's why uh, just think over this if you are going to uh, call a server and you you keep waiting for that in the main thread what will happen nothing will happen the the user cannot even click any anything on the web page because you are still using the thing still using the thread so that's why all the fetch APIs and all those are asynchronous. Moment you uh, trigger it, you leave it and go to the next statement. So remember in JavaScript, you should never ever block the main thread. Okay, that's why it is called non-blocking, right? I'll just show you a scenario if you, what will happen in your uh, Chrome browser if you block the thread. So let me open a Chrome tab, okay? Right now you can see all are all you are able to link and all are active, right? It actually responds to my request. Now let me block the thread, okay? So what I will do? Maybe I will print for thousand or ten thousand, whatever, okay? Just I will use a for loop which will print for thousand. Okay. Right. Okay, I'm doing correct. Now you can see. Okay. Maybe it became maybe I will put ten thousand so that so now you can see this is the tab I was doing. Maybe I will increase it. It is so fast. Now you can see it is not all uh, in nothing is active because I have blocked the thread. Only once this process is in done, then only you, it will be active again. You understand? You can see this here. Nothing is active, right? In Chrome, what happens is all the browsers, all the tabs share the same thread. So you can't do anything until this is over okay nothing is happening because you are using the thread right <clears throat> so now let me uh, go to my thing <clears throat> so this is about the javascript thread so to reiterate it is has only a single call stack that is single thread so the java execution is single threaded another uh, major uh, misconception misunderstanding people have is they think even the fetch or uh, the set timeout set interval whatever you do also comes in the same thread so th that's not the case or uh, those set timeout set interval fetch calls whatever you do 
are all browser APIs. Okay, that is all written by your browser, browser vendors. For Chrome, it is different. For Firefox, it is different. So, so when you do anything from JavaScript, when you call set timeout or set interval or any fetch calls, it actually the JavaScript just triggers and goes to the next statement. So it does not wait for those browser APIs to come back. So those are called as asynchronous. Okay, understand? Those execution does not come under the thread of JavaScript, the single call stack of JavaScript. Those are all handled by the browser. Okay. Once you do them, what happens is if you do a fetch, the callback, once that is done, it receives the response. The callback of the fetch or the promise of the fetch, the callback given out by the fetch comes inside the queue. And it goes to the call call stack actually. It does not go directly to call stack. It goes through the queue and call stack. From queue to call stack, it is called as uh, execution event loop. It goes only when the call stack does not have any other thing. So this I, I would be doing another question, and you can also refer to my uh, previous video on execution event loop that is also a very important concept so this i hope this is clear for you just before i close the javascript execution is single threaded always remember there is multi threaded is not possible this is the basic design of javascript this is the how it works even in node.js okay there is only a single thread which looks for the waits for the user request the api request from the front end so uh, you can understand in, in node.js if you are going to block any thread another user can, cannot come to your website so that's the how very important it is you should never block the thread hope this is clear thank you